I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and Other Home Energies. I have, since uh, the last video, you see me cutting from here. And I took it all the way down to here. Just basically going like this. And then I sanded her down. So now she is pretty sweet that way. You can see the twist in her. This other side, I've taken the bastard file down and I ground a little with the grinder to get a little bit down on her. I still have to come to this line, which basically I'm going to show you how fast that can happen. This is what you missed while I was working at night trying to get ahead here. Because it's been raining here the last few days and the thunder and lightning really hasn't helped us out much for getting video done. I couldn't sit there and hold up on the prop. Okay, I'm down the line on that. You can see where it's set in here. A little bit more, and then going like this, and I'll do the same here, and then I'll fine tune this line. I'm going to do the same back here. And that way, when I put my saws all to it, I can see my edge. I'll be able to see this edge from that side. And that makes it a little easier, and I'll just I'll knock it down real fast with the saw. And this side here will look like this in no time. Okay, I slid this block all the way this way, tight, which lowers this end a little bit. And I tighten my clamp up. Then I slide this this way. This makes this not move. When you're filing. If you're trying to file on something up in the air, for some reason, the vibration, everything just takes forever. But when something is solid, the file works three times faster. That's sharp. <laughs> Show you for quickies here. i got to take this edge down to the line. You see me do the other part in the air. Almost there, that quick. Basically, I don't really need to do much. I'm going to go ahead and level this off a little bit. Knots are real hard to file. You can take the back side, the rounded side of the file, go across them, put a dent in them, and then you can get the stuff around them. But I prefer to just curve right through it, both sides, cut it right off. I need a little bit here. You got something mounted flat. You can put some pressure on something. You can do a lot real fast. works much, much better when you've got it mounted. Now that I've got this side here all the way down to the line, all the way to my end, I can go to the other side and see my line as I curve, and I can knock the rest of this out. After I curve, I can either knock the stuff out or knock it out with this. It goes fast. I'll show you now. All I have to do is watch this line and see when this meets the edge. Now I can do more. It's easy. I usually anchor my left hand right here and just come down like this and as the angle changes I move up just a little bit.
you notice the knot takes forever. Before I go off and work on that, I'll show you what I mean by getting rid of that knot. I can go to town. Got to watch your wood grain on this. Make sure your wood grain's not going down like this. You can chip into the next piece. That was a big piece. I came back and cut this last piece here. I filed while I was off the camera too. Just to get this. file only cuts on the push. If I'm working on this side, I want to push this way. If I'm working on this side, I want to push this way. I don't want to push wood splinters out. So it's important to pay attention to which way you're going. Going at an angle like this, seeing as the prop twist like this, will put the high spot right here, where I can get it flat easier by putting more pressure in the middle. Plus it helps to even it out. This should be flat like this. I shouldn't be able to rock it. I'm not really rocking it there, but here I can, see? It's just an easy way to get the middle. If you're having a problem getting the middle down without with the slight rocking and getting the ends. The way you fine-tune your edge is like this. It's usually going up into the wood. But it's flat like this. And this is a straight line. Okay, I'm going to move on down and take care of the rest of this. I won't be back on camera until I finish this out and we're ready to do the curve on the other side. <laughs>